Hi, it's Heather with an installment of R-Rated Reviews, and I am in my truck trying to warm up for a few minutes because I'm on a job outside all day. I'm like a drowned rat. I look like a drowned rat. I came in to warm up and make fun of myself for picking up, picking off a dry piece of skin off my nose last night. So laugh if you want. I wanted to go over some, I didn't think I would do a review on gloves, but I found that it's necessary because I have more gloves than you can possibly imagine. And this is nothing. This is just what I brought to this job site because I have to change them all day long when they get wet. I love firm grip. I want to love firm grip. They have these awesome fleece lined gloves. They are so warm and they're so soft. Unfortunately, well that might be my fault for trying to warm them up by the fire for too long. But these are their best gloves. They're super, super warm. That's not from the fire. They do keep my hands warm and they have a coating on them so they do stay pretty waterproof. Not entirely, but they do pretty well. Now, I just got these. I buy them on sale or on clearance. They're fucking expensive. I don't know why these companies charge what they fucking charge for these gloves. They last about two hours. So, I got these... They were 12 bucks. I got them for $7.20 like yesterday. They're firm grip again. Now, I got them because they're also warm. They're fleece lined, but they're a little thinner. They're not so thick and bulky, so I have um, more dexterity with them. But this is the problem I have with the utility gloves. I have firm grip for utility gloves. And after a couple of hours, or I would say maybe even a day, So that kind of sucks. Now, the only gloves I have that haven't ripped, of course, are Milwaukee. But they're really expensive. And I guess, you know, you get what you pay for. But you shouldn't have to spend $15, $20 on one pair of gloves. It's, it's absurd. Now, I have beat these to shit, and they have not ripped. And these are Milwaukee. And... They have, I like the ones that have the, you can wipe the sweat. I can't wipe the sweat anymore because they're filthy. But I also just noticed it has this thing called smart swipe. So you can use your knuckle to access your phone. They have not ripped. They're a little warmer. They do have, um, just the fingertips are reinforced. They're slightly warm. I love when they have the little sweat wiper on them. These are my regular ones that I'll use when I'm doing like uh, chemicals solvents. These are also Milwaukee. They have it ripped, but I also find that for the cost, they're not necessary because the firm grip actually makes a decent solvent glove. The orange ones, they're significantly cheaper. These don't rip as much. Of course, I'm not also doing the same work with them. It's the ones at the seams, the ones that have to keep your hands dry and warm. So these are good and they're a lot cheaper than the utility ones from Milwaukee. But look at these firm grip ones. These are just like the red ones I just had on. Okay. The fuck am I supposed to do with this? These are just starting to, yeah. That's bullshit. So I also bought, I love the ones that have the Velcro. These are different firm. Oh, so these are fleece lined also. I also got these on clearance the other day. So these are the firm grip with 3M Thinsulet. The problem is I know they're going to wrap. I got these on clearance also. Seven. The other ones are 720. I think these are 760. These are great. But they're, they're not going to last. Because here's another pair of their 3M Thinsulet um, firm grip gloves. So, as much as I want to love Firm Grip, I think I just pretty much love their pricing. But I don't love the product. I want to. I don't know who makes these. These are leather. They're suede. Doesn't matter. They're soaking wet. 
but when you go to pick something up, there's nothing worse than thinking you got some nice leather gloves on and having shit jam right up your fingertips. I think, I don't know who makes these. They're from Home Depot. Now, the reason I show you these is because I found, I think I found gloves. So I found these the other day. Uh, actually, these are Home Depot too. I got these. These are on clearance for $1.63. I don't mind $1.63. These won't rip because there's no seam. The ones with the seams, they rip. I found a pair of gloves. Now these are cut resistant, not cut proof. These are cut resistant. I've been wearing these all day. These are fucking awesome. Exact Grip GRX. Never heard of them. You know why? I got these at the fucking Dollar Tree. Dollar twenty-five. They started carrying all new shit. They have shoe covers. I spend twelve dollars on a ten pack of shoe covers when you go into someone's house. Dollar twenty-five for ten pairs. Granted, I'm sure they're not going to last that long, but neither do the ones I buy. The ones I buy from Home Depot, the, the moisture, they're like paper, the moisture goes right through them. They have sanding blocks for a dollar twenty-five. They're like five or six dollars at fucking Home Depot. So, when it comes to the gloves, I'm going to see if the Dollar Tree carries the warm ones because I need my hands to be warm. I'm freezing. I need, I need the Velcro. I have more pairs back there. Oh, yeah. These are the other ones. In the, these are these are the um from the Dollar Tree. I couldn't put them on because they got soaked. So these are work gloves, heavy duty, latex coated gloves. One size fits most. These are fucking stellar gloves for a dollar twenty-five. These are fifteen dollars a pair. Granted, they're the only ones that haven't ripped yet. Oh, and I have these. These are also Milwaukee. They're leather. I hate when they get wet. They also have not ripped. So, Milwaukee makes great gloves. Firm grip, I love the warmth of theirs. If you can not rip them like I do. Milwaukee's gloves don't rip. Firm grip gloves are comfortable, cheaper, but rip. Dollar Tree has cut resistant gloves for a dollar twenty-five. That's all I have. Thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. If you want to hit like or subscribe. Thirty? Where the fuck did thirty come from? You guys are rock stars. Hey. Have a great day.